Okay, what's up vlog? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, my boyfriend and I will be celebrating Valentine's Day in ATL. Yes, another ATL vlog um, this weekend and I'm so excited. We got up early today. We had an early check-in at the hotel because I had to work so did he. So we thought an early check-in would probably be best. Sometimes you can finesse it, sometimes you can't. But we managed to finesse it and I'm really happy because it worked out for the better. Um, finished work um, and now I'm finally recording this intro um, so what's up y'all if you're new here go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, you know make sure to stay tuned turn that bell on for post notifications every two weeks a new vlog and if you're returning welcome back thank you again uh, for the continued support and for keeping up with the love and all of that good stuff so um, in this vlog, we got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good things planned. I'm so excited. And uh, I am going to take y'all along with me. First, I'm going to give y'all a room tour. Don't judge the state of the room. Like I said, we've been here for a minute and it's a little, it looks a little lived in, even though we only been here for a day. So I'm going to show y'all, but the view, the view is different. We're staying at the West End in Atlanta and I've been dying to stay at this hotel. Every time, every time we have something to go, I'm like, let's stay at the West End. Mind you, I'm happy that we did, but I will admit that the hotel that we stayed in for my one year or our one year anniversary, it was a little better in terms of space, but this view, I'm telling you, the view is to die for. So I'm about to show y'all the room, do a little room tour, and then we're about to head on to our first, um, I guess, event or plan of the night, which is a couple's massage. We did this last time and we had to run it back because it felt way too good. So we're going to do that, but let me do the room tour first. I'll let y'all know where we went, but um, we just looked. <laughs> Every time we need look, but we got this. Let's see y'all in like an hour for me, a couple minutes for you. All right, y'all, excuse the look of sleep and mess in my eyes and face, but we just finished at the massage and it was really good. It was different from the last place that we went to. They were a little bit more hands-on rough. Um, but overall, it was really good and I really enjoyed it. I definitely needed it. I have been working out like crazy recently. And so I needed every bit of roughness that they had. And there was one part in like my shoulder blade that I was like, oh, oh my God. But now we are at dinner. Um, if you have seen my ATL date night vlog, and I will tag it like right here. We went to this Jamaican spot that was oh, so good. Like we've been fantasizing about coming back here ever since. And so now we are finally back and we're about to eat. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna let y'all know what I get. Probably the same thing as last time. Can't even lie to you. I got the same thing as last time, which is the jerk shrimp, mac and cheese, and this time I got plantain, so I kind of lied a little bit. These are fried plantains, and then he got jerk chicken, dark cheese, mac and cheese, and rice and peas. Yes, sir. All right, we have to dig in, so we want to let y'all when this is all gone. All right, y'all, we got the rum cake as well. It's a small piece, but I'm pretty sure it packs a punch, so we about to share this. 
all right so good morning vlog morning afternoon um so we definitely had a time last night <laughs> we went to the massage place that y'all saw then we went to rodney's y'all saw the food too and i didn't show the after because it's like kind of embarrassing that plate was clean like there was nothing left like not even not even crumbs not for me anyway for him he couldn't finish his food which is a first that i finished and he didn't but you know we're not gonna talk about it we're not gonna talk about it so next we went to a hookah lounge and it was really fun we um my bestie stopped in to see us she was home for the weekend so i was like come hang out um and we got a picture of margarita and boy them margaritas had me feeling right i only like had two cups full but like ugh, i don't know y'all it was it was good and i was d-r-u-n-k so that it was a good night we came back fell asleep um and yeah we had a really good time last night so today we are about to go to breakfast we're going to brunch i guess it's brunch now um we're going to brunch at breakfast at barney's and i've been dying to try this place for so long i've been wanting to try breakfast at barney's for at least a year now i wanted to go last valentine's day but um we just couldn't make it happen so we're going today and i'm so excited um and then after that he has a surprise for me so I don't know what that's about, but we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna keep y'all updated, obviously. And uh, everything else that we do, I know we're going to your third spot today. It's a new spot in ATL. And I'll let y'all know what that's like. And then we're trying to figure out what to do for the move tonight. Hopefully it's another vibe like last night's hookah lounge, but we shall see. So the first step of the day is breakfast at Barney's. And it's a little rainy today. I'm gonna show y'all like what our view is looking like. It's kind of foggy outside, um, but still really pretty. It's a really nice view to wake up to. So let's go ahead and get the day started. I'm excited for some food as always, and I'm gonna see y'all soon. Okay, we're starting off with the soul rolls, y'all. I'm so excited. All right, y'all. So I got these 24 karat gold pancakes. And look at this, y'all. It comes with edible gold and edible flowers. And it's huge. And then he got the spicy catfish and spaghetti. No. Catfish and spicy spaghetti. There we go. But yeah, we're going to get ham for sure. Okay, y'all. So we are back from breakfast at Barney's, and the wait was insane. So we ended up just sitting at the bar because they were saying that a wait for an actual table was going to be between an hour to two hour wait. I was like, baby, what's the bar looking like? She said 30 to 45. I said, put us down for the bar. Mm, you could do both, but we're most likely going to be sitting at the bar because. It is what it is. But the food, 10 out of 10. I would say we had the soul egg rolls that y'all saw. That was pretty good. That was different. It had mac and cheese, candied yams, and collard greens all in an egg roll. And it comes with like this little sauce on top, which is pretty good. And then I got the 24 karat gold pancakes and I didn't even need the syrup on them. Like that's how good they were by themselves. I was not expecting them to be that big, but baby. <laughs> I could put it away but i didn't put all of it away because it was it's it was humongous like it was huge so um definitely got us a little to-go box um for sure <laughs> but yeah and then he got the spicy catfish or no spicy spaghetti and catfish and i tried it and it was really good um it was spicy though like the spaghetti was actually spicy and i've never had spicy spaghetti before so i was like really intrigued to see how that was gonna go but yeah all in all everything was pretty good i have no complaints a lot of celebrities have stopped there so that's the main reason why i wanted to go i was like what is this place about and i can see why for sure so next i'm not gonna lie to y'all we had to take a little break i am full as heck and i could use the bed real quick you see the room service came made it up it looks all nice so i, I just i just got to get in it 
Um, so we're gonna lay down for a minute because that's how full we are. Um, and then we're headed back out to my surprise thing. I don't know what's going on. Um, and he's not gonna tell me either. So I'm just gonna have to be surprised. And then we're gonna go to your third spot after. So stay tuned and let's keep this vlog rolling. They mostly, yeah, yeah. Want you to come on over even if I'm asleep. Pick me up in my dream. Okay, y'all, so tonight did not go as planned. So we just ended up getting food ordered in from this place called, what was it called? You Betcha Burger. Um, and we used Uber Eats, so. I am gonna catch y'all probably tomorrow because this is about it for the night. So, peace out, y'all. All right, so good morning, you guys. Welcome to day three. And uh, today we are actually leaving at the end of today going back home but we still got a jam-packed day in the city before we do all that so our first stop is rock south cuisine i believe that's what it's called um and it's this new black owned restaurant in brookhaven uh, which is not too far from the city and i'm excited because like everything this weekend i saw it on tiktok and i was like we have to go here and the food looked so good like literally so good so i hope that it lives up to its expectations and i'm gonna keep y'all updated with what we to do today as y'all saw yesterday the surprise was the trap music museum and it was really fun i've never been there before so it was really cool um to be able to experience that and see all of like the artwork was like and then the people who designed the place they're really smart very strategic and it definitely resembled what it's like growing up at atl so yeah for sure if you haven't been definitely go i hope those clips like give you a little insight into what it's all about but it was really fun and i definitely appreciated the surprise so thank you really <laughs> but yeah so we are about to go get our day started sadly we were saying bye to this amazing view in this this hotel but it's okay because we will have other times and other opportunities so let's go ahead and get to brunch lunch brunch lunch whatever so see y'all soon so we are leaving rock south cuisine and it was actually really good i got the southern fried catfish and my two sides were mac and cheese and yams and oh that mac and cheese and yam combo was hitting different but i'm gonna need y'all to go there yourselves and check it out um like i said it is black owned so it always feels good to support and yeah we definitely had a good time the music was good 
the vibe was good and yeah we sat at the bar because that wait was like one and a half hours and then she came up to us like maybe 10 minutes later and was like we have a seat for y'all at the bar if y'all want to sit there so yes please yeah take us to the bar um so yeah overall it was really good it was really fun now we are on the way to the coca-cola factory and i've personally never been he's been but this is about to be my first time experiencing the world of coke and it's weird because i'm from georgia so it's like i should have been there years ago when i was a child maybe on a field trip but here we are 21 22 years old finally doing it so i'm excited and stay tuned to see what it's talking about for the moment that we find that one but so far it's so good i'm enjoying the flavor some were eh, and some are good i had to get some more of this bonbon whatever from madagascar it tastes like island <laughs> but yeah we're gonna keep trying so we are leaving the coca-cola factory and we definitely have a, had a good time they had movies um tour guides and a whole bunch of history about the company um and then once we got to the tasting room was where all the fun was had i definitely enjoyed a lot of flavors and i found the one that tasted like barbecue and i'm not gonna tell you so that you can have the same experience as i did i literally felt so violated <laughs> but trust me it's the one that you expect if that makes any sense maybe you'll know once you know but yeah so now we are on the way to i actually have no idea where but I will definitely let y'all know when we get there. All right, y'all, we got the half pint salted caramel cheesecake and replaced one of the ice creams with brownie batter. And it comes with a literal whole piece of cheesecake. What's called the break? But yeah, we got to dig into this and I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes. and just like that y'all it is another valentine's day for the books so we are officially in back at home and we definitely had a really 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 great weekend some of my favorite parts were definitely the hookah lounge on the first night. Breakfast at Barney's was really good. Next, I really, really enjoyed our night in. I don't know why, I was just giving vibes. Just, oh, so yeah, I enjoyed that. And then Rock South Cuisine today, 10 out of 10. That food was amazing. Oh my God, I have leftovers and I cannot wait to dig in again. Your third spot, I would say is like a seven, six or seven out of 10. I didn't like the food options there. It was very limited and I already don't eat a lot of meat. I'm literally a pescatarian. So they were not really messing with me there, especially cause their pescatarian options were like $40. And it was like, this is not the spot that I want to spend $40 on food on. You know what I mean? So it wasn't, it was okay. It was good for the games and like some of the drinks, but it wasn't good for food. So just keep that in mind if you decide to go. 
And then, yeah, uh, where else do we go? The Hive is always a, a vibe. Love the hookah. Uh, the drinks are good. I, I didn't get drinks this time. It was more of a chill vibe. We were really mainly there to watch the Super Bowl and I bet personally on the Kansas City Chiefs and I won. So, you know, he had to me a little song song, but that's just my mind. That's how powerful it is. And yeah. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all's love and support. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. So stay tuned for more content. See y'all later.